Hey Peter Report listeners, James Hill here back with yet another video. In this one, I want to talk about yet another tight end that had received praise recently from Buccaneers offensive coordinator Dave Canales. That is former Illinois State linebacker Tanner Taula. Six foot six, 255 pounds, was described as a tree by Dave Canales, much like what we talked about in the Dave or in the Payne Durham video. It was also described as a guy who's been doing everything that has been asked for him and has been just overall seemingly a very good fit fit for this Bucks offense. That's pretty interesting to me. I will say that because whenever I heard Dave Canales specifically mention Tanner Taula, I thought, man, this has been a guy that I haven't really thought a ton about so far this offseason. Let me go ahead and do a little bit of research. Let's go ahead and see what Tanner Taula is all about to receive this type of praise from Dave Canales. And I think that there is a lot there to be impressed with, right? Firstly, six foot six, 255 pounds, very similar build to Payne Durham, your immediate thought is this guy could be a potential red zone threat. And that is certainly something that will probably be explored by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, be it in training camp, be it in preseason. That's probably where Tanner Tula is going to get a lot of his looks. Now, you look at his overall stats while at Illinois State, folks, at the end of the day, it wasn't too much there. 284 yards, one receiving touchdown was his best stat line. That was in his final year in college. So Tanner Tula, you know, has got some of this praise from Dave Canales. The stats aren't necessarily there to back up those praises. But I will go ahead and note that was only on 26 receptions. Illinois State apparently did not throw a lot to the tight ends because Tanner Tula, in five years in college football, only had 60 three total receptions, 627 yards, and four receiving touchdowns. So I think that you could make a very, very legitimate, uh, a very, very legitimate claim or argument here that, quite frankly, Tanner Tula has not gotten a chance to showcase what he can do yet playing football at the professional level. But it certainly didn't get many of those chances in college, and we've seen situations like that before, where guys don't get a ton of receiving opportunities at their colleges. They like to run the football, don't throw the, to the tight ends a ton. They go into the NFL, and they are able to do a lot with more opportunities. Opportunities. That is something that could be said here for Tanner Taula. What is he going to do now at the NFL level if he's going to get the ball thrown more his way, possibly even in the red zone as well? It's something that remains to be seen, but it's certainly something that can be intriguing moving forward. Now, Right now, Tanner Tula is in a bit of a rough spot, right? Because the tight end room is pretty packed. You have three former draft picks in there in Kate Otten, former fourth rounder, Co'Keefe, and Payne Durham, both former sixth round picks as well. So Tanner Tula might not make the Buccaneers 53-man roster, potentially. If they carry four tight ends, maybe you could make that argument. That is certainly a thing that could happen. They've done it before in the past. Maybe they would do that again. But I think Tanner Taula is a guy that you could, at the very least, have on your practice practice squad, have him grow and develop as a backup tight end, kind of showcase what he can do as a big bodied tight end in training camp and in the preseason. You can put him on your practice squad and he's a guy that you can develop, get him more acclimated to NFL level of football, get more acclimated to getting more targets thrown his way, getting more receptions under his belt, just overall folks getting more reps, period. That is the important thing, right? Because Tanner Tula, he's got the size, he's got some good athleticism, he's got the overall ability that you want to see in an NFL caliber tight end. The size is there. I think that the overall athleticism is there. Um, you know, we, we heard Dave Canales talk about that as well. It's just a matter of getting more reps for this guy. And that'll be interesting to see if he is going to be able to get more reps. He'll certainly get a lot of them in training camp and in the preseason, maybe in the regular season. He can be on the practice squad, can be a guy that you can grow and develop, get him more comfortable at the NFL level. And then you might have a legitimate developmental tight end on your hands. But I, I just wanted to make this video because I thought it was so interesting, right, that Dave Canales specifically wanted to talk to, to bring up Tanner Taula as one of the guys who has impressed him too. And that comes with more snaps. That comes with more repetition. I think that the more snaps you give a guy like Tanner Taula, the more chances he will have to impress his coaching staff, to impress Bucks fans, and overall just 
make an impact. So folks, I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on Tanner Taula. Let me know them down in the comment section below. Is this a guy you're going to have your eyes on now after the Dave Canales comments on what he could potentially be at the next level for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Maybe you view him as a developmental tight end. Maybe you view him as a camp body. I want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, folks, we'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and see you soon.